Oh, what a beautiful day it is here on our Valhelsia 2 world. Birds are chirping, the pandas are looking, and what the heck is that? All right, guys, so welcome back to Valhelsia 2. Today, guys, look what I've done. It's very cool, very neat. These freaking beetles are so annoying. Look how many hits they take from our thing. Yeah, they're crazy. Give you these weird chitin, like a kitten, uses. You just make armor, you can make a cool looking shield and some boots. They're really annoying. These guys spawn freaking everywhere. I've, I think I've killed at least like 60 of these guys. It's not even funny. I guess it's upright ridiculous. But guys, this is our new base area. It's going to look pretty neat if you ask me. So this is where we're going to have our second floor kick off. And this is going to be a, a big window with a big T in it. Yep, we do have... It, we made it uh, odd. Odd numbers, right? Because that's how it should be. Uh, yeah, and it's going to go up. This is like the most complete corner I've done so far. Uh, I've just been working. You know, this is like the fifth design I've had for this. This is what I got. This is what I got. We just got some beams going up here. Try to get some of the, the white, the marble in here. Got the basalt because I just think it looks good. I want that to be like structure. I'm not sold on that little thing there. That's the only thing I, I don't really care for. Um, other than that, though, guys, I'm really digging it. So it kind of like swoops in here, you know, kind of does one of these things. So this corner is a little awkward. Um and then it kind of comes just straight up. So we had to make it a little less awkward up top. I don't know what I'm going to put behind there. I think I might try to put like a, a different type of brick there uh, to bring in one more color because we got three here and I'd like to have four. So we might end up putting like a blue, like a slate block almost. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and test that out. Okay, so this is the blue I think we're going to go for. I'm really a fan of how it complements the, uh, the blue here or the green here. Um, it's not like an in-your-face blue, but it's a really nice, like, texture going on. Uh, but we definitely need to fix this corner, because I am not a fan of this. So I think we're going to move the, the green bean thing, um, over one. So let's go ahead and just do that. This is going to be a buildy episode for everyone who's wondering. It's going to be fun. So, we're going to take this pillar down here, because this will give it, like, a little bit more structural support. Um, we might need to add a block there, but that already looks better. This is looking kind of wonky. Let's go grab some more terracotta. Terracotta. Okay, so that's definitely looking better. Uh, I actually do like the way that looks now. Uh, I also went ahead and made a change over here. I don't know if I copied that. Yeah, I do have a beam going across this. Okay. I've been wondering why this looks so weird compared to the other one. Yeah, that's definitely better. Okay, so it looks like I just need to put that cross beam going there now i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking we might need to extend this upward so if we have a block here it will go into that one Ooh, that could look pretty good if we had like that going and then we had like a different color kind of beam <gasps> oh no we can't put those in there oh well let's go ahead and try it so we could take this beam kind of up here and so we're good we could just come out with one of these. Yeah. Now, I do intend on going up even further with this base. Uh, quite a bit, actually. Because uh, we're only at level 92, and I want to probably get up to somewhere like around here for the top floor. Um, just because I want to have a whole, like, each floor have a, like, a different thing to do, if that makes sense. Okay, so before we even put the the marble in there, how do how do we how do we look? How do we look? How do we look? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell at night. I don't know if I like that. We might need to change it up a little bit. From outside here, that looks kind of weird. It just looks straight up weird. Now we might just need to put a little bit more girth in it, and it'll look better. Or I just had another idea that I'm gonna go ahead and try out. All right, I don't think I can get that to look right just yet. Uh, I do think if we have a little bit more structure down in between these, say if we were to make these come out two more. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So if we come up like this, that way it just doesn't look like it's the same. Yeah, but if we do that, that looks like it can hold a lot more than that. And then we can just change the blocks that are in here 
to the marble. Uh, that's polished marble. Can we convert that over into bricks? We sure can. Perfect. So if we just do one of these. Yeah. That already looks much, much, much better. Yeah. And then we can just put like actual green ones. Or we can just extend, extend those out up to that. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, but we're actually going to be focusing on something else for now. Um, the second floor... If we go here, I want this to be right where the second floor is. So we are going to build this out here between each of these. We won't see that. Whoops. Vest. Okay. So unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be like a builder's wand that we can use to make this go a lot faster. So I'm going to have to put this all in manually okay so we're just until we fill in the rest of these we're just gonna have these corners be these hard angles and I'm gonna get to work building this and listening to my jetpack go so I will see you guys in a minute yeah yeah all right, check this out, guys. The second story floor, I guess, is in. Went ahead and just copied these over because I figured, hey, look, we have a template for it. And so the floor is actually done. So let's go ahead and have a look down here and see what this looks like. Now, the floor is not done because I don't have any more of these um, at these marble blocks from Embellished Craft, which I really like the look of. They have like a slight sandy... Um, like colored to them. And I think they look amazing. But look, as you can see, these freaking beetles are everywhere. They are so annoying. And they have so much health. Look at this dude. Like, like they're not even passive either. You walk anywhere close to these guys and they'll just start attacking you. Look, I haven't even attacked this guy yet. And he's just wailing on me, you jerk. You're dead, you're a stupid idiot. Look, it one shot's a zombie. Or almost one shot at a zombie. Yeah, they're annoying. All right, guys. So I just want to walk you through or just catch you up on what's gone on at the base here. I have upgraded everything over to the ultimate smelting, our ultimate factories here. Uh, as you can see, we are cooking with fire now. And I also want to show you guys something cool. I made a uh, sand creator. So what happens is we put one cobblestone in here, it gets crushed, goes into here, gets crushed, and then it goes over here to get smelted. So I will show you guys that now. I do believe we have a whole bunch of glass. Yeah, we have 3.4K glass available, which is awesome because we were having so many issues with getting glass previously so very happy about that but that means we can go ahead and start to make some pretty neat glass so if we look here that's reactor glass okay so we don't need that we might need it later but we don't need it now i want to go ahead and have a look here at what we can make with the glass because i want to have a very unique looking glass window that's a facade cover x net dang it Fine storage needs some of that. Though in the new base, we it'll be fine. We'll be able to fix that, no problem. Um, give me a second here. I'm going to look for some glass. Okay, so I think I found some glass that I want to go ahead and use. Now, this is actually called glowing glass. And this stuff actually glows because you combine it with glowstone. Holy shnikes. Okay, we got a few mobs here. Are you a good skeleton? Oh, you're a good skeleton. These guys are so hard to hit sometimes. Okay, we got them. So if we put this here, yeah, as you can see, it does actually light up the area. So we are going to be using that for these windows. Now, this whole window here, you can see this will all be... Actually, we got to move that over. Um, but we're just going to... Oops, not there. We're going to fill this all the way up with glass. Now, I actually think we are going to match the the stuff there, but this is going to, uh, we're going to have the basalt actually come out on this side as well to match it, so it will look just, just as good, trust me. Don't worry, it's not going to look really bad. It's going to be basically like, think of the old school windows, how we used to have them um, before we had glass panes, and we couldn't get that depth, how you used to have to make like three wide 
windows, stuff like that. That's kind of what it's going to resemble, but uh, it'll, it'll look good. Trust me. Okay, so if we take a look from afar here, yep, it looks like a window. And the cool thing is, is that once we get the roof in, it'll really highlight that yellow we have. And that will be the final color, so it might, we might almost want to replace this blue here with a uh, yellow that matches that, just so it matches a little bit better, because it kind of it kind of stands out if we're just looking at it like this. Um, but that's not why we have it glowstone. The reason we have it on the glowstone is because we're going to do something really, really cool. We're going to get our seven, some of our 77,000 quartz here. And we're going to put some T's up because, you know, turtle, that's me. We have to be all over the, the base. So I'm just going to have to just gonna have to let it happen. Just, just got to happen. Just let it happen, guys, okay? Hmm. Looks kind of interesting like that. Uh, when we add in the, the border, I think it will make it look a lot better. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, and just see here because this is what we're going to do. Okay, so this is the window from the inside. Now, I'm looking at it, and I think it would look better if we did the same thing we did for the border, where we made it go all the way through like this. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, that angle looks kind of weird, though. <laughs> all right, we're going we're gonna to go with this. Uh, so this is going to be... Where we have all of like our um, our computer stuff. Now, right here, we are going to add in elevator blocks. And that will be where we access this one all th throughout all the corners here. So if we go here, one diagonal, this is where it will be. Um, just, just like that all the way around. So it'll be, it'll be pretty neat here. We can access it from wherever we want. Um, let's see. And I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with these guys yet. Uh, actually, let's see how this looks from down here. This could look completely goofy, and we might have to just end up ripping out the glass. Ah, uh, it's okay. If the if the glass was connected, I think it would honestly look a lot better. But that's okay. Um, I don't mind that at all. But I think we definitely need to switch these out with like a yellow brick. So what do we have here for bricks? Uh, we could do end stone, but that's a little too. This is too much yellow honey bricks. Um. You know, honestly, this here, just sandstone bricks, that could actually work. And it would give us another texture. And it's close, because from here, it kind of looks like a washed out white. So I'm going to be honest with you. We can make a whole bunch of sand. And I think we're going to give that a shot. So that blue that we discussed earlier, yeah, it go. It go. We ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that anymore. That looks weird. It looks so naked. I really wish there was a mod that let you just build like one corner of a base and it would just copy it on all four. Ugh. Oh well, what are you gonna do, right? There's actually mods like that, but they take a lot of setup. These guys need some breed in here pretty soon. Pretty neat. All right, so we're gonna need a crusher to get our sand uh, processed here because we're gonna need a, a bunch of sand. Um, so we're going to need to get one of these guys. We should have, yep, all the materials for that. So I'm going to walk you guys through on how uh, I did all of the upgrades and stuff like that. That way you guys know the uh, the process I'm doing. Mechanism perfect. So these are what you want. You want the basic tier installer, the advanced, the elite, and the ultimate. So we're going to be making these today. Uh, so we're just going to need one of these. We're going to need one of these guys. We are out of those. So what we can go ahead and do is just create those. Uh, I'm going to make a total of six of these. Yeah, because we're going to be upgrading it a few times. So here's that. And the reason we made six is because we're out of those ones. What you can... These are the diamonds infused into this, these normal alloys with the iron. So in order to make these, we just go like this. We're going to make four of those for the next tier up. And we got the elite. Now we're going to make the ultimate one. So I should have some ultimate. Yep, we sure do. We're just going to need to make two of these. Bam. And the ultimate tier, shebang. Now, that's the end of it. Now, to make the ultimate tier, we need to infuse. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. We need a, some obsidian first. Uh, I did make refined obsidian ingots on accident. We do need some more obsidian. Now, I believe 
yeah, we put these into an enrichment chamber here. And this gives us obsidian dust. Now we combine the obsidian dust with diamonds, uh, which if you take some diamonds, we got a few now. Um, if you put the diamonds in this as well, uh, we're done. We don't need any more of that. Put the diamonds in here. You get these little enriched diamonds. Now these go into our system just like so. And they make up all the good refined obsidian dust. Now you take this refined obsidian dust, you put it in here. Not here. Just kidding. You put it, you put it in this top one. Bam, and it loads it up into here. Then you combine... Uh, <laughs> this is a process. You combine these guys, which are made by taking these here and infusing these, which are the... Um, just the, the iron infused with the redstone. You put these in here. Actually, we're going to wait for that to go all the way. Okay, so this is done. We throw those in there. Then these get combined into that, and we have fun. All the fun. So we're also going to set up a spot here for all of this to be automated so it'll all get crafted for us. And then look at that. We have the ultimate tier of these. Very, very cool. So let's go ahead, and we're going to see about... Oh, we're gonna need another two. Oh, we already have sand automated. We can craft sand. I'm an idiot. I thought it was an auto. Uh, uh, we're gonna make 2048. I feel dumb. This makes sand. This is what makes the glass. Ah. Uh, so this is how fast it is. So it's throwing all of the uh, cobblestone in here. Cobblestone gets thrown into here. Uh, does our cobblestone... Okay, so we can stop actually filtering the cobblestone. Now, I don't know if we can actually access this. Um... Oh, shoot. We crashed the game again. Hmm. That looks really cool at nighttime. Not going to lie. Ow. Ooh, some ender. Ow. Enderman. Hello. Do you wish to give me ender pearls for my elevators? Oh, you do. You do. Hi, spiders. Oh, yeah. Don't need you. Don't need you. Hello, Mr. Skellington. You're dead. Give me all your levels. Oh, yes. Come here, Mr. Spider. Hi -ya. Yeah. All right, guys, we got another 30 levels. I figured we should do another enchant because I'm trying to get silk touch on a pickaxe. So let's see if we can get it. Okay. Oh, what is that? See over here? Yeah. Okay, so this is new. Um, it's a measurement controls the level of the table. Fortune three. Mm. Oh, look at that. It's amazing, but uh, now I don't need this. <laughs> this is our new fortune pickaxe. Amazing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and remove the enchant off of this. And I'm going to see if I can get together another couple levels, which really uh, would help. I know a good way to get experienced. <laughs> Ha! Ha! Ow. Ha ha! Experience! Look at all of it. I'm gonna kill this. I need to make a mob spawner of some sorts, dudes. I'm really hurting for XP right now. Dude, like, ran away. He was like, no way, you almost killed me with one hit. Halfway up to level 30 for 29. I'm gonna keep doing some grinding here. Might even mine a little bit of quartz, see if that'll help at all. And uh, well, I'll be back in when we're doing another thing. That guy looks salty. I did it, we got to level 30. Oh man, I think we found where our quarry has been mining from. Wow, okay. All right, here we go. We got another 30 levels. Let's go ahead, put this in there. Indestructible. Oh. Oh. It would be so cool if we could get Silk Touch with that. All I care about is getting Silk Touch because then we can go get a spotter and set up an experience farm so we can get better things. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Just a 
Son of a nutcracker, dude. What do we get now? Efficiency four. What about you? Leech. Controls. Hmm. Arcana. Arc Arcana. Oh. Glowstone Hell Shelf. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Prismarine. So these give better items, it looks like. Yeah, this should be like the best, right? Yeah, look at that. Gotta fight the dragon for all that stuff. Oof. Well, well, that looks like it'll be a project for another day. Today, guys, we did a lot of work on our base over there. We got the cool tea up. Not a very productive episode, it feels like, but one that definitely needed to happen. Oh, and check this out. Before we go, look at this. 1024K. 1024K. 2.4 million. We're getting there, guys. We will be upgrading. We'll be doing some more stuff with the new base next episode. I'm also going to keep trying to get Silk Touch off episode because we desperately need it. So I just put that into a... Yeah, I need that back. So anyways, guys, hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye. <laughs>